How did you get ahead of us? Ha <laughs> ha! I'll freely admit I wasn't actually expecting you to join the Alliance. But not even in my wildest dreams did I imagine you'd try to flee the ship with our dearest princess. You're a bold one, I'll give you that. I wasn't expecting to run into either of you on the way out either. You guys aren't called the Phantom Thief and Duvali the Swift for nothing. <laughs> Trying to praise us won't get us to let you pass. Ha <laughs> ha! Princess Alfin is one of this nation's most precious treasures. You surely couldn't have thought that I, the Phantom Thief, would allow you to steal her from us, could you? I'm not being stolen by anyone. If anything, I was the one who whispered sweet nothings into his ear and tempted him to run away with me. Oh my! What a passionate young lady you are. Forgive me for being so presumptuous. You've no doubt taken after your brother in more ways than one. I'd like to believe that I'm not quite the oddball he is. I couldn't agree more with his belief that love is the truest form of beauty, however. Really now? <laughs> They're actually hitting it off. I think that's enough messing around for one day. You're an enforcer, Blue Blanc. Take your work seriously and behave! Ha <laughs> ha! I think the number of enforcers who take things seriously are in the minority, I'm afraid. Still, you're right about us having played around for long enough. I find the many mysteries surrounding you fascinating, but there's a certain appeal to them remaining forever unsolved, too. You may think yourself a swordsman, but allow me to show you how little you truly know. Uh, are you sure you can do this? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. The gap in skill between us is small enough that I should be able to force our way through. Oh? Small? The difference in our strength is like night and day, you boor! And if you're foolish enough to be unable to see that... Then allow me to make you realize your folly and pay for your arrogance. The one being foolish and arrogant is you. <gasps> my, my. Green? I owe me being able to do this to you, your highness. You and Elise. Now, everyone who's done anything to aid us in coming this far deserves thanks. What's happened to him? Could this be your ogre power? Oh. Eight leaps, one blade school, intermediate level. I, Ring Schwarzer, will be your opponent. <laughs> I will enjoy this. This is... His ogre power? Come, my minions! Gather on my blade!
made it your own, did you? You continue to fascinate me, Reen. Reen! Forgive me, Your Highness. What for? <gasps> Goodness! Whoa, what's going on here? I don't know, but I don't think it's worth us chasing after them. We'll make our way directly to the deck. Are you all right, your highnesses? Yes, perfectly. My heart just feels as if it's about to burst. That doesn't sound very fun. Come on, is now really the time to be flirting with each other? You're here too! <laughs> you got some real guts, kiddo. But you ain't getting past us. Zephyr's guard shall not be easily broken. Hmm. Looks like he's picked up a few tricks from our feet. The targets have broken our line of defense. Commencing pursuit. I'm sorry about that, Your Highness. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. But, um, can I hold on to you a little tighter? Of course. <laughs> targets in sight. Commencing capture. My suspicions outlining you as an indecent person seem to have been confirmed. Can you not make me out to be some kind of pervert all the time, please? <gasps> Target lost. I may have underestimated you, Green Schwarzer. In more ways than one. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I didn't really have any choice but to do that. I realize that's no excuse. I, I know you didn't. But she... She seemed even younger than me. How could you, Reem? That truly is indecent! Um... Try not to pay any attention to what she says about me. There's the exit! Don't change the subject! That's the Ashen Knight? Isn't that... Crow! And... <sighs> huh. So that's how it manifests for you. You finally mastered that power you got, huh? Still, you're one busy guy, you know that? One minute you're down in the dumps, the next you've got one of the cutest girls in the country cheering you up. <laughs> well, I can't deny it, but she wasn't the only one. It was my sister, our classmates, even you in a sense. Come on. 
Can't say I'm not curious to see what that power of yours can do. But I think you get priority here, right? Yeah, let me have this one. Your Highness, if you don't mind. All right. This is your first time fighting me without the mask on, I think. With our Divine Knights, I come out on top. But let's see who wins when it's just the two of us. Sounds good to me. You managed to win against three of us at once in the catacombs below Heimdall. It's just you and me now. And this time, I'll be the victor! <laughs> Go ahead and try. Alright, you ready, Reen? Ready, Reen? Gotcha. Gotcha. My turn! Let's 
move. did it. I sure wasn't expecting you to beat me one-on-one. -on -one. You fought pretty well yourself. It couldn't have been easy to last as long as you did against me like this. Harine! <sighs> Why did this have to happen now? Guess your luck ran out. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? But I think you may have been slightly too reckless this time. <laughs> that wasn't a bad fight. Even if you lost, at least you tried, I guess. <sighs> Your Highness, please move away from me! Hey, don't be too rough with... Look sharp! For the weight ring. <laughs> Yo, we're here to save the day. You caught us all off guard back in your mirror. So this time we opted to take the initiative ourselves. We meet again, severing chains. And I see you brought the purple lightning with you. She brought more than that. Check out the icy maiden and that big shot arts user from the Bracer Guild. We couldn't ask for a more impressive. Here it comes again. Y your Lordship! Uncle Victor! It's good to see you again, Ray. And it relieves me to see you're none the worse for wear, Your Highness. Huh. Wow. You're strong. Very strong. That's quite the nod coming from the blazing demon himself. I can see now why you're considered one of the fiercest in Ouroboros, and why some even claim you to be the Steel Maiden's equal. <laughs> well, I know who I'm gonna be fighting. Don't you go forgetting about us now.
You're all here too? Are you okay, Reen? Looks like we've landed in the middle of something pretty crazy. And not a moment too soon. You came! Glad to see you're all right. You certainly seem to have kept yourself busy. Enjoying your scandalous elopement with Reen, are you? Oh, he gave me the time of my life! You guys were having that much fun, huh? And with our princess, Reem? To think we were so worried about you. You're not supposed to take it literally. Huh. So this is what you threw me out of Valimar for? Doesn't look very fun. <laughs> Crow, you're here. It feels like it's been ages since we last saw you. <laughs> you're looking spiffy, Crow. I'm hanging in there. Sure wasn't expecting all of you to show up, though. How are we even gonna settle this? That is the question, isn't it? I'd roughly estimate both sides to be of equal strength. Yeah? So we'd probably just end up at a stalemate, huh? Well, doesn't sound like much fun at all. Let's say we just forego the fighting and have ourselves a party instead. Ha ha ha! I could never turn down a party! <laughs> That sounds simply wonderful. I'll bring the booze. Ah! No, no, no! Can't one of you take this a little more seriously? This is getting us nowhere. <gasps> Look who decided to show up. Krianos, Vita. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Pantagruel, Emma. Your overall ability as a witch might still be lacking, but that transportation spell was exceptional. I must apologize for the untimely intrusion. As displeased as a few of you might be by the idea, I think it best if we let one another peacefully go our separate ways this time. I'll be the one who bears the brunt of Duke Cayenne's anger. Vita. I can't say I understand why we should. It's not our place to question the orders of our clients. Eh, whatever. Gives me something to look forward to later. Okay, see ya, Fee. Next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Yep, I know. Aww, I was kinda hoping we'd be able to talk some more. I expect we will have multiple opportunities to do so in the near future. Well, catch you later, Phantom Thief. Or not. You do know that no one likes your stupid pranks, right? Tut, there's no need to be so harsh. It's a shame we couldn't resume our debate on the nature of beauty this time, my most worthy rival. I could wax eloquent about beauty till I'm old and gray, but honestly, I think it's about time we settle things between us. Next time we meet Radiant Blade Master and his daughter, it will be to battle. Well, I certainly have no objection to that. You seem to bear some manner of ill will against my household. I don't know your reasons. But should we be granted the opportunity, I would gladly settle things with you in battle. Yes, well... Let's not be too hasty. I can wait. Guess that wraps things up for now. You've definitely grown. But you've still got plenty of room for improvement, especially when it comes to piloting Valimar. So unless you're up for another beatdown, I suggest you get to work on fixing that. Yeah, I know. Oh, and just to confirm, you were the one who told Toval where I was, right? <sighs> Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. 
They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you. Then they just hung up. Didn't even... Oh, now that you mention it, he does have the same voice as that mystery caller. I did think he sounded familiar. It must have been because I had heard it during your concert at the festival. Damn, looks like the jig is up. You really did that? Oh, Crow, there's no shame in admitting that you care, you know. And if I might be so bold as to offer a word of advice, get Valimar a better sword, one like yours. If you think you're such hot stuff you can beat me without your eight leaves training, you're in for a world of hurt. <sighs> Correct choice of armaments is indeed paramount. Selecting one the Awakener is well suited to will increase combat efficiency exponentially. I can't pretend to know much about this kind of thing. He's right. Eastern blades like Maitachi are the heart and soul of the Eight Leaves One Blade style swordsmanship. All right, I'll take your advice. And when I've got myself one, I'll finally take everything back. The Academy, Elise, and even you, Crow. <sighs> <laughs> if that's how you want it, I'd like to see you try. Full speed ahead! Commence retreat from this airspace! 